Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez, there's a bit of lag there. Yeah, we're back on Satisfactory here, ready for another day. And do we have a day for us today? We got our work cut out for us. Um, but first, <laughs> uh, we're on our modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager, so you can download and install mods for yourself. Yes. <laughs> Still don't know why I give them free promotion, but it's one of the... Well, actually, I do know why, but... Um, even though they don't pay me <laughs> anything, they really they don't even know I, I exist. Which is fine. Um, it's just... So it's, it's one of the best down... It's one of the best mod managers I've ever used, so there, <laughs> there's that, but anyway, um, yes, we got our work cut out for us, because we're going to be doing adaptive control units today, well, we're going to start, or we're going to start on it, uh, you know, you know how it goes, um, we have a lot of work cut out for us today, uh, so, the, the recipe for, I actually was looking ahead a bit, because I don't remember the recipe numbers and all that, uh, is the, uh, what are they called? Uh, the, uh, they're, there's some kind of control system. I can't remember the damn name of them all of a sudden. I know they're red, <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, I know they're red, and that's about it. Um, the, uh, so those units require the adaptive control units, and the, uh, the adaptive control units in order to make that 100% um, efficient, you need two manufacturers making adaptive control units at 100%. Um, but uh, uh, those and those go back to the assembler town as well, which needs one point. I think it's 1.4 assemblers is what the is what the thing was. It was like it was like not, it was like almost half of another assembler, so I, I bumped it up to requiring exactly two assemblers uh, for that recipe, and that requires three manufacturers doing adaptive control units, so that's what we're going to go for, and the adaptive control units, if you actually look at the, the picture up close, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, you have to zoom in, I don't, I don't have that kind of skill zoom in it <laughs> put a zoom in on it but uh, it has three sides to it because it's a it's the adaptive control unit is essentially a space version I guess you could say uh, of a gyro um, it even looks kind of like a gyro it also kind of looks like a, a 343 guilty spark but you know there's that <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, uh, and I thought that was perfect. Uh, three manufacturers making adaptive control units, which are three-sided. Um, and then we're not going to put them in a square orientation. We're going to put them in a circle orientation, kind of. Kind of, okay. There's there's only so much you can do on a grid. Um, but we're going to try and make a somewhat circular building. It, it's more going to be a, probably like a... Um, let's see, what would that be? It'd be an octagon. It'd probably be in a. Uh, it probably be would be an octagon shape. So <laughs> there you go. That's probably what we're gonna deal with here. Um, so yeah, we gotta uh, put up the walls and figure out how we're gonna place these things. And then we're probably gonna have to uh, go back through uh, some of our earlier productions and, and up those as well. Uh, we shall see. But first, let's take a wall. And let's put it like that. And then we're going to... In order to get an angle, we have to use... Uh, architecture. And a road barrier. The way you can test if you get that road barrier rotated correctly is to take it to the middle concrete foundation. I think it's... Is it just one over from the middle? It's possible. Yes, it's just one over from the middle. 
And then what you do is you fill that in with a beam. Um, but we can't do that just yet. Do it like this. So we're going to have an overlap of a wall. Hopefully. Oh, dang it. Well, it's probably going to be made out of metal, right? So we actually go over to material here. Fix it wall. Yeah, that works. We'll just use fix it walls. <laughs> or steel walls. Yeah, steel walls works even better. Look at that. It looks like one big wall. Yeah, we're using steel walls. Heck yeah. Even though you can't color them, it's fine. We need some different looking buildings around here anyway. Uh, so then we do that. We might have to do this much bigger. <laughs> I just I just realized this. Uh, that's okay. It was just a test. Because we gotta take up the entire space here. Um, kind of. We almost got to take up a uh, square. We got to leave space here. So that square is pretty large, and we got to somehow make it into a, an octagon. <laughs> I mean, I could I could go for a circle, uh, and I could probably pull it off. Probably. I don't know if I want to try though. <laughs> It does not sound fun. Um, but, uh, yes. It's basically the wall there. Okay. Here's the center, of course. Hmm. Yeah, do I want to try for a more... more circular, circle, circle, more circle shape? Because we got to figure out, um, basically, with the, the road barriers. Because the road barriers can rotate one, one, two, three, four, five, six to a 90. Okay. So we'd have the straight, and then we'd have one this way. A couple walls doing that angle, a couple walls doing that angle, a couple walls doing that angle, that angle, that angle, and all the way over. So. That's, that's as best we can rotate that. And I want to use the road barriers. So. Uh, leave that in the middle. So it would be three. Because we got to do the same number of walls. Or at least a very similar length. In order to make this work. Um, so there's three walls there. So I've never done this before. So um, yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Freaking... 1200 hours and I've never actually tried to make uh, like a circular building it's either it's either straight straight walls with 90 degree corners or we've got 45s and that's about as far as I take it um, of course I have been working on uh, some angle stuff lately um, with the road tool but uh, uh, that's a bit of a secret I know, weird, huh? Right there. And we're getting ready to autosave. And freeze. <laughs> oh, it froze a little faster than I thought it would. Yeah, you can almost see my secret project from here. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be looking. Where? 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 <laughs> no. no, nobody's that excited. Uh, so you can actually put... Is it gonna be there? Yes, it's going to be there. Okay. So, one, two, three. It might end up being two, you know. Um, is that in line? Yeah, like I said, there's only so much you can do with the with the grid. 
red. It's actually really annoying to try and work out. Yeah, that's not going to be enough room. Uh, what we could do is start out with one wall and uh, try that. We at least need to take up a full... Um, no, that was too close, wasn't it? Yeah, I was right here instead. Yeah, see, this almost takes up a full grid. And then... That right there. That's not lined up correctly. See, that's the thing, though, with these road barriers. It's trying to find the line where it lines up. As you can see, it's very difficult. <laughs> see, that's not correct either. It's only correct right here, which is strange. That's really far away. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's do that. I don't know what, I've, I, don't know what I was trying to. What I was trying to do. Or is it just? Do we just take up one wall? We got this angle down, now we just need this angle. And again, that's too close. So then we take the next one over, which is a bit the middle. That's really too far away, though. Is there any closer that we can get? We don't want it in the middle. So it's either there or there. And again, that's... That's a bit too close. Hmm. There's gotta be a way I can... A uh, way I can do that. You know what we could do? Uh, that'd be re it'd be really hard to do, though. We'd have to figure it out. Um... We could use the, uh, the micromanage mod to help us out here. Again, it'd be really difficult to do, but it can, it can be done. Did I have my, oh, I don't have my light on, whoops. <laughs> just, there's just so much light right here, it's just like, yeah, I guess I didn't need it. Yeah, if we use the micromanage mod. We could even use, um, there's, a, there's one more option, the crosswalks. Of course, these foundations can't be, because it wants to lock on. So we do is do this, this, and you, you've seen people do circles with these before. You hold control, and you can rotate based on this. And I believe it's two. Hey, how many how many angles can this do? One, two. Wait, nine is the center? Or nine is wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 9 is 90 degrees. What the heck? So we want we want 2 and then 1 2 then 1 2 1 2 I don't like that. Is that so it's 1 2 and we go 1 2 3 and then 1 2 That's too far. How do you split that up? I 
That's not very fun. <laughs> I, I don't like it. <laughs> I hate this. So basically it'd be like that, and then... And then you take your crosswalk here. There you go, one, two. And what we could do is we can fill those gaps in with uh, with beams and such. It's just I, I avoid using the micromanage mod unless I need to uh, to get accomplished because I like to do things um, without mods when it comes to like the way things look. Uh, that's what I like to do. This is like way off. I think I'm holding control to lock those in place. One hell of a circle. Yeah, see, that never gets. How do. When people are building with these, how do they deal with that? <laughs> I just, I can't deal with that. You can't do the same angles and then get to a straight path with the grid again. It's just impossible once you start. How do, how do people deal with that? I can't. I can't deal with that. Plus this is incredibly too small anyway. Let me hit that. Uh, whoops. Think that way. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we got all the time in the world, right? Everybody, guys, all the time in the world. I'll leave these here. I might try something else. Yeah, that's just not. That's not what I want, <laughs> per se. Uh, now we could use the road tool to help us out here, but again, like I said, I don't I usually like to use mods. I like to try out my other options first. We could try one. One would work. Um, which we might not have the room for it, though. closer and closer to that edge, and I do not like it. Yeah, now we're on the sidewalk here. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a little too, uh, a little too big, so. So that ain't gonna work. Um. And what we could do, I suppose, maybe we don't need this, we don't need that hole there anymore. We did, probably didn't need it in the first place, but I don't say black, of course. <laughs> <sighs> so how do we make a proper circle? Because the angles are all weird. The angles got to be weird about it. <laughs> Uh, we could do a two. Uh, you know what? Here. Um, we'll split this wall. Do it like this. Um, so this is another way to get walls in places where they really shouldn't be. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is uh, 
to try to place it on the edge of the catwalks, because the catwalks, you can snap stuff to catwalks as well, like walls and, and things, as you've clearly seen, but, yeah, see, now we can split this wall between the foundation, so then we can have two. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I should put that on zoom, huh? Oh, whoops. Yeah, because we're going to do th things like this. And then it's one, two, three. sidewalk again. Damn. Still have the room. <laughs> uh, and we're kind of in the same spot we were just were. Just with a slightly sharper angle. Uh, so what if we just did three then? Well, that'd only do a 45, wouldn't it? Wouldn't three do a 45? No, because a 45 is... Forty-five is that, isn't it? I'm not exactly starting on the edge of the thing, so... Let's try that. Actually, huh. Huh. I mean, oh, we could move it. That's a lot of sidewalk, though. <laughs> but it has the shape we're going for. That's the best. That that's the best it can be. Okay. Um. Don't worry, though, we don't have to rebuild this. Now, this is where I'll take the micromanage mod and use it. Is it just to save time? We don't need these catwalks right here, uh, currently. There's two on top of that space. Oh, there's two on top of that space, too. Okay. So then, the micromanage mod is just, uh, hold control, left click. Oh, we probably don't want to control right click to unselect. So there's there's something I learned about the micromanage mod recently when I was playing with it is when you're selecting multiple objects within the same space uh, or within the same selection the first selection is the axis rotation point. I did not know this but yeah the object that you the first object that you select when you're selecting multiples is the object rotation point. So it doesn't rotate each object on its own axis where it's where its starting point was it rotates the multiple objects based on the first object selection so that's why that one's green um, as you can see when we left click here see how this one's green and then the next one we select is blue so this one's uh, so all of these are gonna rotate based on this one I'll show you that that's something recently I learned with micromanage and I'm sure a lot of people are going, well duh I didn't know this before it's like, yeah, I didn't know this before. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I was playing with uh, rotation um, on my new secret project I'm working on. That's uh, to the east there, and then uh, I had to rotate multiple objects. And I was like, no, nah, it's probably going to rotate all the objects on their own axis, and then it's not going to rotate the way I want it. And then it rotated the way I want it, and it went, oh, perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's just let's just rotate one. Um, and I figured out how to do bigger and smaller increments as well. And I probably figured this out before and mentioned it, but I forget a lot of things, so. Uh, Shift and J, we'll do that, so. 
See, it rotates based on the, the first selection, that green wall, based on its, um, its rotation. Uh, so control, so see it's rotating on any of the axes, uh, axes, 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 yeah, something like that. Anyway, so uh, how far is this in? Is it on the center line? It's just inside the center line. Uh, we're probably going to have to do smaller increments, huh? Let's see, what's... Because to get this on the center... Uh, is it control? No, it's alt. Yeah, that's where it was. We could put it there. No, that'd be off one, though. Yeah, we don't want to be off-center. Yeah, we want to be perfect in that way. Okay, then. Okay. So then... Go ahead and move it here. And it's also based on the way you look, too. Like if I control J, oops, Alt J, sorry. Um, see how it goes left and right. If I look at here and hit J and L, it goes the direction based on the way I look. So, is it just over the line? I think it's just over the line, isn't it? Go to this side. It's just over the line, but it's a bit further than that. Maybe not. Let's see how center this wall is here. Now. Now if I hit Alt and L. Yeah, it's going to drag it over. Um, so then we, we say, okay, we need to do smaller increments then, right? So then what we do... As we go control and alt, that's what the bottom right of the thing means. The immediate, the uh, large junior notes, uh, and the in, in the uh, basically the how much it moves is the I. So we have uh, control alt and we have I, and it changes it to large, huge, and tiny. So tiny, it goes tiny, medium. Uh, so then we go alt. It's right, right there. Ah, look at that, beautiful. So now that's centered. Uh, and this wall should also be centered. So now it's, it's centered on both axes. Axes. Oh wait, we needed to move that a lot further than that, didn't we? Well, we got it on the right. So if we go control alt and then I again, we go to medium and then we can go alt all the way over. So something like that. Then we can check this again. Make sure it's uh, on the center line, which it is. It should be. Yep, it is. Okay. So that one's still, um, the wall itself is still center. It's centered on this one. So yeah, that's centered on that one. And this one is centered on this one. So there's going to be a little bit more space here. Maybe we'll put some like, uh, put some like, um, like, uh, little plots here. Put some like trees and stuff in. I don't know. <laughs> Decorate the place. Uh, it's supposed to be industrial. It can't be looking nice. What are you talking about? Anyway. Uh, so now that we got that all squared away the way we want it, um, because it's a it's a foundation and a, and a little a little under half the 
same on this side, which is a foundation, a little under a half, so... Of space, anyway. Alright. We probably could center that even more. now. Because if we move it over to center, then everything's going to be off even further. So... <laughs> we could do this. Uh, so then we continue on with the whole uh, architecture. So yeah, when you're doing angles, if you want a perfect 90 day, or a perfect corner to corner, uh, you can't go two uh, in, uh, increments. You have to do either one or three increments in order to make that work. Three. And then we just take our walls. Boop. Sometimes you gotta rotate it with the mouse. And that looks exactly like the other side does. Okay, um, let's get this all the way around, shall we? And there we go. <laughs> Perfect. All the way around. And like I said, we could just fill these up with like uh, beam connectors and things. So, but uh, anyway, that's all the way around, and it takes up the same amount of space uh, on all sides. So, I mean, let's see. This would be a one, two. Yeah, this would be an octagon. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. No, wait. What? One, two, three, four. What's a what's a what's a twelve twelve sided shape? I I look I failed geometry class. Okay. <laughs> anyway, wait for that auto save to kick in. <laughs> I gotta keep looking over my secret project. You guys are gonna never see it until I get a uh, until I do like an over screenshot view or we decide to work on it. Um, I'm trying to decide. Um, if I want to work on it with a mod, there is a very specific mod that de that uh, is like decorations for that specific type of project. Uh, but there's also we can also just use uh, uh, the fix it approved things as well. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, so It'd be nice if I could control rotate these. See, these need to be... Yeah, that's not exactly the way I want it. But if we use a big one, just use a big beam connector, or big beam and call it good. Uh, big concrete pillar. We just move it in. fills it up. I, mean, I suppose. Not exactly what I want, though. Uh, I want to use the small ones, because the small ones would look really good. Oh, and of course... We might do a mix of them. I don't know. Because uh, I was thinking, like, we could do like that. Oh, we could do like the roof like orange as well. Uh, we'll pick a different orange, of course, so it doesn't match that building, but. Um, there we go. Yeah, 
So now inside of here, we've got to arrange our three, um, our three, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Manufacturers. Uh, all aiming towards the center. Where's the center, by the way? Let's find the center. So we won't count the halves. So one, two, two, six, seven. So that'd be three, two, three, one. Materials. Ain't that. One, two, three. Yep, and we're perfect. Okay, so there's the center. Um, we're going to aim all of our manufacturers towards the center. Or we could, we, we could aim away from the center since they all need to be split anyways. Man, that'd be a mess though, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be a real mess underground. Uh, or above, or however we decide to do it. Oh man, that'd be a real freaking mess uh, to get everything working. Because um, you'd have your line coming in, and then it'd be... Man, that'd be nuts. Hmm. Just trying to think here. How do I want them arranged? We want them arranged like this, probably. Yeah. The reason is, is because the roof is going to be angled towards the the, the dome, and the, it's almost going to be a dome-like shape in the center. Um, <laughs> that's another thing. The roofing is going to be roofing is going to be fun to figure out. So, what if we did like here? Is that too close? Yeah, that's way too close. Um, so then the manufacturers would be, like, here then, that's what you're saying. Ah, uh, but then we need... Yeah, it's kind of a small space. We might have to put them back and right up against the wall. Well, let's see, I want this to be the front door, so... Uh, we won't be doing that. Anyway. Um, like I said, or we can aim them like this. That would also work. Yeah, so then this one's going to go like this. Yeah, I think what I am going to do is I am going to put them like, up against the wall. I think we just kind of have to. There's there's not a whole lot of room. We're going to be feeding them from below anyway. Um, and whatnot, so. You know, there is that. So, something like that. The, the reason I'm putting them so far away from the center, not just in the center, is because I want to merge them together, but I want... Um, just like the computer line that's on there, which we never did finish. Um, I want to go finish that real quick while I'm thinking about it. Uh, fit through these holes, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I should have waited. That's fine. Uh, it finished up anyway. Um, but yeah, I kind of want a production line like this where you get to inspect the product. Um, and the reason I never, uh, finished this is I forgot. Um, but yeah, this, the reason I wanted to come over here is because I forgot this. I wanted to put these down. So basically, with, I need the zoop. So basically what this does just allows me to put this like this. Okay. So it's, it's also like a cautionary type deal, but it also... Uh, covers the fact that the um, that the belts are floating, <laughs> kind of. I guess they're technically not floating, but it also kind of covers up that fact too. Yeah, I, just, I completely forgot to do this. 
but this is so you can get up right next to it and be like, caution, things are going to be moving, but also you need to inspect the computers from both sides. So there, in the real world, there would probably be somebody just like standing here on both sides inspecting each and every single computer that comes by. These computers look very strange, by the way. I think I think Satisfactory needs to update their models a little bit. Make this a more a, a computer that we would recognize. I would say. Um, you know, flip it on its side. Um, flip it on its side, and then rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, these are very weird computers. Yeah, they're they're more like <laughs> you know they they remind me of like um, uh what do you call it they remind me of um, ovens like really big no like the toaster oven maybe something like that or a microwave you get these big old fans they're little tiny fans on the sides. It looks like, like there's a computer there that looks like a tower, just without a front. And then this looks like drawers. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. It's like drawers. Maybe they're, maybe they're like uh, hard drive banks or something. Or uh, processor banks. Something like that, I don't know. Yeah, then I wanted to... That's a bit too big. We need the beam connector one, or the beam support one. Uh, so let me do this. stop coloring nothing. <laughs> it's like coloring nothing. Yeah. All we can do is we can do over here, we could do the uh, PC orange and black. It's not, it's not going to affect the tape, so. And why are these going different directions? Oh, I see what happened. Hold on. Yeah, yeah that, that'd be the wrong type. You, you know, uh, I don't know if everybody thinks thinks about it, but uh, there's actually a very specific way that these, these stripes actually go. And, uh, and it's, it's uh, something that uh, your brain processes on a subconscious level. It's really strange. Like if you have, uh, let me pull an example of this real quick. So if you have a beam like this, um, this basically what what is what your brain's trying to tell you is you need to go to the right of this beam. Like if you if you really think about it, it's really strange. Uh, and I'm thinking of road barriers here because these are road barriers, you know, something you would see in a vehicle or while you're driving. Um, so the lines are going to usually go with the flow of it and it, your brain is trying to tell you go to the right, go to the right, right it, if you think about it, it doesn't you know, it doesn't really work, but when you're not thinking about it, it works perfectly but if, if I got my barriers like this that usually means down the center and you'll usually see something like this if it's, um, if it's a hazard above You'll see this, uh, and I'm probably not explaining this in the best way I can, or the best way I should, but um, this is basically like, like stay straight down the center, basically. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain it, but yeah, it's just something I, uh, something you learn when you're working for Department of Transportation. You gotta. So that's just gonna be orange. We'll just do that. Um, it's just something you learn. In Department of Transportation <laughs> and you never really think about it until you know in, in, 
until you actually start to learn this type of stuff in the way the way um, things are designed um, like I've talked about the crash attenuators before you always see those crash attenuators with the four corner lights when it's parked uh, unless they got unless they're using it for an arrow board uh, to direct you left or right but uh, if it's just like if it's just sitting there and it doesn't have an arrow on it you'll see the four corners lit up and the four corners are flashing it's actually on a subconscious level telling you to aim here basically and I've talked about that before but yeah and this also ties into it just the subconscious it's really strange um, and you'll see it on uh, you'll see it on those that kind of stuff on like uh, when you're crossing really small kind of uh, really small bridges as well maybe even bigger bridges too you'll see like these signs and usually about two or three of them uh, depending on where you are different different DOTs got different regulations but uh, you'll see like two or three and you'll see those those black and yellow stripes kind of aiming down towards the road uh, aiming uh, angling away from the barrier um, right before the bridge the bridge is concrete barrier like that has sides on it the concrete sides uh, or metal sides so it depends on where you are again but uh, yeah and it's basically telling you to go left of the sign so that you avoid either going through the through the metal barrier off of the uh, off the hill or go left to aim you away from the concrete barrier and like I said it's all kind of a subconscious level type stuff it's really strange and uh, yeah. it's something you don't think about normally you, you don't think about it until you've already acted upon it I guess you could say like if you're going to crash into that barrier and you kind of the the black and yellow stripes kind of catch your eye and you kind of steer away from them and a subconscious level will tell you to steer away along with the stripes to steer away at that you know away from that angle <laughs> it's really strange when they were telling us about it it's just like what the fuck you guys sound like you're crazy and then yeah it, it it's all based on tests that they've done years and years and years and years ago Yeah, this might work. I kind of want to rotate. Well, you know what? I got an idea. We're going to rotate these barriers as well to match the wall. Like these are going to be straight, of course. Uh, these ones are going to be straight. But the wall doesn't quite go into them like that. It's very strange. Um, these like that. I might use metal barriers here instead. But I kind of want to get the. Kind of want to get the overall kind of look of this building here. So basically, kind of like that. So these I'm going to rotate to a 45. I might. Oh no, we can't. Okay, yeah. So we have to do one at a time. So uh, what we can do is we can go. Um. It's like that, right? Uh, let's go Control Alt I. Make that a large. Okay, Control Alt I again. Yeah, it's just doing 45s. So that's what we want. Okay. Then Control Right Click to deselect. Control Left Click. And Control L. Control right click, control left click, uh, control L, control right click, <laughs> something like that. And then control left click, control L, 
control, right click. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, I just wanted these rotated to where they would match. Now these ones, if you wanted to, you'd rotate them. Uh, rotate them differently. But I think I'm going to leave them like that because we might have like... Like the entrance uh, will be these two open spaces and then we'll have beams coming off of that. And I want it to kind of... Kind of want it to be a little bit straighter there, but these corner ones needed to kind of be angled so that it have. Uh, this is actually, yeah, this is, looks like a 45. Looks like I rotated at a 45. Now we're gonna go Control Alt and we're gonna change that back to medium. I wish the clipboard was bigger, <laughs> or give us the option. Unless the, there probably is an option, I'm sure, but it's like give us the option to like. Um, to like go into the mod and then move it where we want it. Uh, I've never actually tried. Multiplayer uh, options. Nope. I thought there was like oh mod configs. Here we go. Uh, micromanage. There. No. Okay. We can't like copy, delete, move, rotate, and resize objects. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the micromanage mod has uh, done quite a lot for me in the past. Now I could do this with uh, with a, a, a few different options, but I just wanted to save time. So <laughs> uh, we're probably going to use, like I said, we're probably going to use these metal pillars. Oh, you know, maybe we leave that. Maybe we use the concrete. The concrete ones do look kind of good with it. I just wish the uh, that they had um, these metal pillars, like they had the third set. That was the painted pillars. Um, that I know there's a mod for, but it, it needs to be in-game, um, in-game type stuff. Let's see how tall is that? So that one is two two walls tall. Okay. So we go with that. Something like that. Okay. And of course we take our walls. Like this. It's nice and easy. the one meter wall uh, on top and freeze <laughs> I knew it was coming I seen it I need to turn I probably need to turn off the other side but again if the game ever crashes because I'm working with mods and I could I could lose just hours worth of work I really do not want to deal with that take a bit of doing, but just to save some time. Micromanage. See, that's going to be control this time. So then, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. I got an idea. Let's do all of them at once. Because we're just moving up and down, we can select all the pillars at the same time. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> I think it, I think it bugged. I was trying to select it.
So then now that we've got all 12 selected, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. <laughs> I think that's where we want it, right there, right? Uh, so then I can just move my mouse to unselect. And then we just delete these. Since there's 12, there should be 24 selected here. Yep. Okay. And then we just... Zoop it, of course. Get rid of the one on top. Genius. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not even close. Alright. That beam, that beam, this beam. So many beams. This is not even decoration, this is just getting the basic structure down. <laughs> and it'll probably be this way for a little while, too. Uh, and, uh... So, isn't... Because Decagon is a, a 10, isn't it? I'm still trying to think of what the shape is called. I could look it up, but yeah, I'm too lazy. Um, and it's for video games, <laughs> so I think it's super important. Now, I don't want the manufacturer to face this way. Especially because... Yeah, we can't. We can't even fit that here. We'd have to move it one back. And that would just do even less space on the back side, so... Um, what I want to do is I want to angle it with this pole right here at a 45 and then put it right there um, because that's what the gyro is the dryer this is why it's three-sided is the the casing see the casing on the picture there and it looks like the Actually, is it four-sided? No, it's it's three-sided. I know it because I've, I've, I've actually, you know, you actually see the, the model in-game. It is three-sided. And it would be... It'd be four, it probably would be a 45 if you wanted to uh, make it easier on yourself. So the way we do that is we get rid of the foundation that we're going to be placing it on. And we're going to try and... Foundation for now. Now this foundation is not going to be removed forever. It's just temporary, um, just so we can get this angle. Um, oh, we can just do this. There, I completely forgot. Is that a forty-five? That looks like a forty-five. Yeah, that's a forty-five. Definitely a forty-five. Okay. And that pivots perfectly on the center of that foundation. Um, so then we just do this. And then again, like I said, it's not going to stay this way. It's just the way it is. And then that center piece just to kind of guide us there. And then what we can do is we can take our manufacturer here and angle it up. So it, it would be here. Ish. Let's see. It'd be a little bit forward, but um, yeah, this would be about the the place for it. It's a little bit close. Well, hold on. You know what we can do? We can place it. Oh, and put legs on it. Mm, that's an idea. I'm gonna put. Should I put legs on this one? Because this one wants to put legs on it. Um, because we're angling and doing weird things with the game. Um, we might be putting legs on all of them. So what we could do 
is we can go architecture. And I'm going to use the painted beam as a tape measure. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to diagonal mode. Uh, okay, we're going to go to freeform mode. <laughs> Okay, so touching the machine is nine points. We'll just call it nine point six meters. And this was nine meters, so it needs to be a little bit closer. Um, but I don't know if we can get closer without it. Let's see, what would nine meters be? Let's 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 put the tape measure down. Uh, it won't allow me to do the the free form is not truly free form then is it <laughs> because I can't do uh, I can't do night meter okay there's nine meter see if we can move it slightly closer um, so this is lined up almost with the foundation so then we kind of because we can't put two machines on top of each other and then get rid of the other one so we're going to do that and turn around and grab this so it was right there so if we move it here So, I'd rather have 8.6 than 9. I mean, it's not, we don't really have to have a choice here. Um, but we can... Yeah, 8.6. It's pretty damn close. I don't know how to do a 9, per se. You know, we could do those. We could move this, the micromanager tool, and then control I. No, that's alt I. See, they're probably all point one, so. So that's where it was. Okay. And one. Two, three, four. I will let the auto save freeze us up here for a second, <laughs> as it usually does. There we go. Okay. Our tape measure here. Eight point six. I would say that's that's probably at a nine. Yeah. Because I can't I can't do a nine <laughs> because of the stupid thing. I don't think that works either. Uh, so if we do diagonal. Yeah, diagonal does not work here. I can't exactly... Because now there's no there's no thing to, uh, to ask. See, that's a 9.2. So if we go up, yeah, I'd say I'd say that's right. Okay. So that was four increments backwards once it was placed. So we got to remember that uh, and uh, whatnot. Uh, okay. So then get rid of all this because we don't need it. Let's 
it's like a 45 and what I'm using I'm using this center line to line up with this corner right here that's how I know it's a 45 <laughs> just a little tip there I can't afford it. I need some more heavy frames. I think I have heavy frames on my truck. Let me check. Uh, heavy frame. I do not. Now let me go get a stack. Because we're making them right over here. It's going to turn on a lot of machines. <laughs> If I remove this, just like that one, did this one put feet on it? It didn't. Interesting. Oh, you know why? It's because of these. Uh. Okay, we may end up replacing this one then, because this one did not put feet on it, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, so we'll put this back real quick, uh, and then do our beam. So 8.6, and then we're going to do this one and do an 8.6. Should be exact. Now it's not wanting to. Now it wants to do an 8.4 instead. <laughs> of course it does. Alright, so from this line to that line, it's like just behind there. We can measure off of just sight alone as well. So this is 8.6, so it's going to be. instead. There we go. That's yeah, covering up that center dot there. Okay. We can go Alt and K. Heck of a lot closer than that. <laughs> yeah, it's like this. I was going to use the tape measure to measure it, but... It's being a real pain. So now that one's doing 8.4. Now that one's doing eight point four. Now 
that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I think it's right where it needs to be. I think I think I did it. No, you piece of junk. Go up. So that block line is almost to that line, and that block line is almost to, yeah. Okay, they're they're at the same angle now. <laughs> uh. All right, perfect. It's a little bit strange, but it works uh, for what we're trying to do. But uh, seeing as we are over time, I think that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. So we're getting it. We're getting there. Adaptive control units. We're going to need a lot, but we're getting there. Oh, I need to reset this one, too. Um, let's do that real quick. No, oh, stop it. Stop it with the feet. So I'll just fill in. Stop it with the feet. Yeah, because I need to reset this one. This is like, we were right at the end of the episode, and then it's just like, nope. We have got to... We've got to get that there. So that we have the measurement now. Exactly where it needs to be. So I think we can go control or alt, I mean alt L. Yeah. Sorry, right there. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Exactly where it needs to be. All right, now that'll be the uh, that'll be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Doing adaptive control units. We kind of got our baseline set up. We kind of uh, have our uh, we have everything lined up where we want it and uh, whatnot. So they're all going to come towards the center. They're a little closer to the center on this side than this side, but that's okay. I think we'll deal with that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. I said, that's going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. After this autosave freeze. And freeze.